What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you about the midpoint formula, all right? So this is good for when you need to find the midpoint between two points, or if you're given the midpoint and one of the ends, and you need to find the other end, okay? So this is the midpoint formula right here, okay? So to find the x-coordinate of the midpoint, you just add up your x's and divide it by two, okay? And to find the y-coordinate of your midpoint, you just add up your y's and divide it by two. All right, so let's go over a few examples, and then I think you'll be like, oh shit, this wasn't too bad. Okay, so let's start with this one right here. So it says, the endpoints of segment AB are, so this is where A is, A's at negative eight, negative six, and B's at negative four, comma 10. Find the coordinates of the midpoint M, okay? So all you have to do here is label your coordinates, all right, and then plug it into here, okay? So what we're gonna do first is label these coordinates as x1, y1, and we'll label these as x2, y2, okay? And just to be clear about something, it doesn't matter which one you label as x of one and x of two, okay? We could have labeled these over here as x of one, y of one, and these as x of two, y of two, right? It doesn't matter. But I think it's just a little easier to keep it in order, all right? So let's plug this into our midpoint formula right here. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna add the x's together, right? x of one plus x of two. So here we're gonna do negative eight plus negative four. Right, so we're gonna do negative eight plus negative four, and we're gonna divide that whole thing by two. Okay, so this is gonna be our x coordinate, and then our y coordinate, y of one plus y of two, all right? So we're gonna do negative six plus 10, right? So negative six plus 10, and we're dividing that whole thing by two. Okay, so then simplifying this. So on top we have negative eight plus negative four, that's equal to negative 12, right? So negative 12 divided by two is equal to negative six. All right, so that's our x coordinate. And then here we have negative six plus 10, that's equal to positive four. So positive four divided by two is equal to positive two. Okay, so then your midpoint coordinate is at negative six comma two. All right, so not too bad, right? Let's try a couple more. All right, here's the next one. So the endpoints of segment CD are C is at one comma negative three, and D is at four comma two. Find the coordinates of the midpoint M, okay? So the coordinates, again, let's do that. So we're gonna add up the X's, so let's just label these really quick. So this is gonna be X of one, Y of one, and this one we'll do X of two, Y of two. Okay, so let's add up our X's, so one, plus four, right? So one plus four, and that's gonna be over two. So this is our X coordinate right there. And now let's add up the Y's. So negative three plus two, right? So negative three plus two divided by two, all right? So then here, we're gonna get one plus four, that's equal to five. So we're gonna have five over two. And here we're gonna have negative three plus two, and that's equal to negative one, right? So negative one divided by two is equal to negative one over two, or negative one half, right? So then here's the midpoint coordinates for this one, right? So it's at five halves comma negative one half. All right, last problem here. So it says the midpoint of segment JK is at two comma one. One of the endpoints, J, is at one comma four. Find the other endpoint, K, okay? So a couple things here, right? So we know what the midpoint coordinates are, right? They're at two comma one. And then it gives us one of the endpoints, right, j, one comma four. So we can basically label this one as x of one, y of one, right? And then all we're trying to look for is k. So we don't know what k is, right? So this one's basically x of two, y of two. Okay, so that's what we're trying to figure out. Okay, now looking at the midpoint formula, remember this side, this little equation is equal to the x coordinate of the midpoint, right? And this little equation right here is equal to the y coordinate of the midpoint. Okay, so in this problem, we know what those two are, right? They're right there. So we know the x, we know the y, we also know x of one, we also know y of one. So again, all we're looking for is x of two and y of two, okay? So these are the equations, so two separate equations that we're gonna use to solve for x of two and y of two. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna use this one right here. So we're gonna say, x of one plus x of two divided by two is equal to our midpoint coordinate, which it gives us right there, right, two. So we know it's equal to two. Okay, and we can use our other formula right here, right? So y of one plus y of two 
divided by two is equal to our y coordinate, which is, gives us right there, one, right? Okay, but remember, we also know x of one and y of one, right? So x of one and y of one. So x of one is one and y of one is four. So we're gonna plug in a one right there for x of one and a four right here for y of one. Okay, so now that we filled in all the blanks, now we can solve for x of two and y of two, right? So first, let's solve for x of two right here, okay? So we're trying to isolate this variable, x of two. So first, we need to get rid of this denominator, two. So in order to do that, I'm going to multiply the top by two. And what we do to one side, we do to the other, right? So then on this side, these twos cancel out. So then we're just left with that part right there. One plus x of two is equal to four. Okay, now to solve for x of two, we'll subtract one from both sides, right? So these cancel out. So we're left with x of two is equal to four minus one, which is equal to three. Okay, so we just found our x coordinate. Now let's look for our y coordinate right here. Okay, so again, to get rid of this two, let's multiply the top by two on both sides. All right, so then here again, they cancel out. So we're just left with this part right here, four plus y of two is equal to two. Okay, so then here we're gonna subtract four from both sides. Okay, so then these cancel out and we're left with y of two is equal to two minus four, which is equal to negative two. All right, so we just found our y coordinate, all right? So here we got three and negative two, right? So then here x of two is equal to three and y of two is equal to negative two, right? So those are the coordinates right here for k. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful. So definitely check those out and I'll see you there.